Welcome to Catholic Reflection. Reflection 4. Saturday, March 30, 2024. Holy Saturday. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us? From the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man, sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter. He is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter. If you like our reflections, we ask you to help us by giving like and subscribe. Let's start. The Dawn of Hope a reflection on the Easter Vigil. Tonight, on this sacred Easter Vigil, we gather in the quiet hush of the holy night. The world outside may seem shrouded in darkness, but within these walls, a fire is kindled, a fire of hope, a fire of faith. This night, we celebrate the most momentous event in human history, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Mark's Gospel tells us the story of three women, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome, who arrive at the tomb early on the first day of the week, carrying spices to anoint Jesus' body. They are filled with a sense of grief and uncertainty. The man they believed in, the one who promised new life, is gone. Their hearts are heavy with the weight of loss. But as they approach the tomb, they encounter a sight that leaves them speechless. The massive stone that sealed the entrance has been rolled away. Fear and confusion grip them. Who could have done such a thing? Entering the tomb, they are greeted by a young man dressed in white, an angelic figure. His message is clear and life-changing. Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. The angel doesn't leave the women simply bewildered. He instructs them to share the news with the disciples, including Peter who denied Jesus three times. The message is one of hope and redemption. Jesus is not dead, but alive, and he is going before them to Galilee. Tonight, we celebrate the victory of light over darkness, of life over death. The empty tomb is a powerful symbol of Jesus' triumph over death and the promise of eternal life for all who believe. As the light of the Easter Vigil candle spreads through the church, let it also illuminate our hearts. Let us carry the fire of hope and faith into the world, sharing the good news of Jesus' resurrection with everyone we meet. Can we reflect on, can you relate to the women's feelings of grief and uncertainty? How does the news of the resurrection fill you with hope? How can you share the good news of Jesus' resurrection with others in your daily life? We share some Catholic thoughts with you. Reflecting on the empty tomb, St. Augustine reminds us of the transformative power of faith. He writes, Do not despair. What is lost can be found again. What is broken can be mended. What seems impossible for you is possible for God. Quote about possibility and God Augustine. The women at the tomb may have felt despair, but the angel's message rekindles hope and reminds them of God's boundless power. The Catechism states, by his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ has broken the chains of death and sin that held humanity captive. With the risen Christ, all hope is born anew. The empty tomb signifies not just Jesus' physical resurrection, but the liberation of all humankind from the bondage of sin and death. It is a testament to God's love and mercy for us. In his Easter message of 1999, St. Pope John Paul II emphasized the importance of sharing the message of the resurrection. He said, 
the experience of the empty tomb must become the point of departure for a renewed proclamation of the gospel. Let us become heralds of a new springtime, just like the angel instructed the women. We too are called to be witnesses to the resurrection, spreading the message of hope and new life to the world. Let's pray together. Almighty God, as we gather on this holy night, filled with the wonder of the empty tomb, we echo the feelings of the women who came to anoint Jesus' body. Our hearts, too, may be heavy with burdens and doubt. But like the angel's message that shattered their grief, we hear your voice calling out to us, Do not be alarmed. Fill us with the hope of the resurrection. Grant us the strength to believe that you have conquered death and offer us new life. May the light of this Easter vigil candle ignite a fire within us a fire of faith and hope. Empower us to share the good news of your Son's victory with the world, carrying your love and compassion into everything we do. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe.